What do you see on this canvas? A white screen? A blank page? Nothing. We, we see creativity. Limitless opportunity. A team of 40 members. United by ideas. Ideas of empowerment. Ideas of change. Ideas of action. Over 1,200 buttons sold. Over $960 made in total revenue. Over $740 made in profit. Over 2,000 people impacted. And involvement with over 20 events and organizations. We are Limitless Co. Our mission is to provide a voice for individuals to express themselves. Hi, my name is Akia and I'm the co-president of Limitless Co. Hi, my name is Ifas Chowdhury and I'm the director of productions. Hi, my name is Rissa Masood and I'm the co-director of marketing and sales. Hi, my name is Deep Panda, and I'm also the co-founder and co-president of Limitless Co. Hi, my name is Rafada Rafan. I'm the director of Human Resources, and I'd also like to introduce co-director of Marketing and Sales, Lisa Chattery, our after vice president who will be handling our tech for today. I'd also like to introduce Mathisa Tharukaran, director of finance. Limitless started with a goal in mind, to give individuals a chance to express themselves. With an alarming rise in conformity, we realized that students were in a desperate need of an outlet to express themselves, especially at a school like St. Tech at W.A. Porter, who promotes a uniform policy. And so, to ensure that no voice is left unheard, Limitless Co. was founded. Together as a team, we are dedicated to allow expressions of thoughts, feelings, ideas, passions, hopes, and identities. In October 2014, Limitless Co. was founded by two students who are now our co-presidents. Their main vision was to make a difference in the community. The student advancement of global entrepreneurship organization SAGE was their gateway to opportunity. These two members started recruiting teams for that fit the same vision and goals as them. Soon, Limitless grew into a company with over 10 members who later became shareholders of the business. Their investments proved their dedication to the business and allowed us to produce our first product. These keen individuals are one of the main reasons behind our success. Our first idea was to offer a breakfast program to the students at our school who did not get a chance to eat breakfast in the morning. But after conducting some SWOT analysis, we realized that we would be in competition with the cafeteria at our school and that the rules and regulations from administration was too strict for us to operate this business. So we put out a market survey instead, asking students what kind of service or product they were interested in purchasing. And to our surprise, a large number of people were interested in purchasing pin back buttons. Our first product, Standard 360, was developed by the core team who strongly believes in the power of the impact button. Pinback buttons are low cost, easy to produce, and versatile. You can add an aesthetically appealing button to almost anything, a bag, a shirt, wherever else you choose to put it. We believe that buttons are canvases for individuals to express themselves. So by selling buttons, we hope to inspire, engage, and empower all individuals through free speech, self-expression, and creativity. When Limitless first launched, we came up with button ideas that would allow individuals to express themselves. Our pre-designed buttons were sold for a dollar, where we made 85 cents for every button sold. We made $268.50 in our first month after our launch at SayTech. After the success of pre-designed buttons, we expanded to customizable buttons. Our customers now have the opportunity to buy a button with their own design on it, allowing them to express their own unique voice. This was an easy process. Our customers would email their designs to customize at limitlesscode.ca and give their contact information such as their first and last name. Then we would keep their order on hold until they pay at one of our booths. After the button was approved and the money was received, our graphics team would then format the buttons and next our production team would produce the buttons. Customized buttons are sold for $1.25 where we made $1.10 for every button sold. After the success of pre-designed buttons and customizable buttons, we expanded once more, this time to bulk orders. We offered bulk orders at a discount price to anyone that was interested in purchasing buttons to express themselves. Teachers, faith groups, school teams, clubs, organizations, and even our principal purchased buttons in bulk from us. A, very, a highlight of our bulk orders experience was our partnership with YouthLink an organization that values the engagement of youth in the community. We partnered with the Youth Leaders in Action group that was hosting an event on domestic violence. The group bought 40 domestic violence buttons and it proved to be very successful for both Limitless and the Youth Leaders in Action group. 
Throughout the year, Limitless Co. hosted and planned many events, some being on special calendar days. We sold buttons for New Year's, the Christmas holidays, Valentine's Day, and also Multicultural Week at our school. That week proved to be our most successful event. For Multicultural Week, we had countries of buttons from countries all over the world, giving our students an opportunity to represent their own ethnic background. We sold over 90 buttons in a matter of a single day. We were not only able to engage the students at our school, but we were also able to help the community. We sold buttons to help the victims of the Hashford attack and the Nepal earthquake. All proceeds from these buttons will be donated to respective charities to help the victims of these unfortunate events. We are also in partnership with UNICEF at Porter to continue making an impact in the world. Limitless has done a great job financially in the past few months. We were able to bring in $968.10 in total revenue. We were able to keep our expenses low, as our expenses added up to be only $225.10 at the end of the year. This means Limitless made a net income of $743.10 at the end of the year. A portion of this profit will be donated to YouthLink as we share the same vision and missions as the organization. And the rest will be retained for next year's expansion plan. Today, we can proudly say that our company is worth just over $1,100. We are also strong believers in being eco-friendly. From the very beginning, we have had a green approach with the purchase of our buttons. We use public transit to go purchase our machine and buttons from our suppliers. Secondly, our buttons use FSC certified paper to make, to make the buttons. FSC stands for Forest Stewardship Council. And last of all, all our buttons are delivered by foot. We also sold buttons on Earth Day to promote green initiatives. Here is an example of a button idea that we came up with, made of forest <laughs> It's pretty funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, you may be wondering, how was Limitless School able to engage our school and community? Well, mass media played an important role in the success of our business. Starting in school, daily announcements, posters, brochures, and the word of mouth were all used to communicate new events, deals, and activities by Limitless School. Social media also played a huge role in our company's success. We used different platforms to target and engage our audience. We actively updated our social media accounts to ensure that every all our to ensure that our audience was updated with the latest information from our company. Currently, Limitless Co. has 217 likes on Facebook, 35 followers on Twitter, and 82 followers on Instagram. We also have our very own website at limitlessco.ca on which we have all the information about our business, including our social media sites, our contact information, and our team. But just like every other business in the world, we too have faced many challenges along the path to our success. One of our biggest problems since we first launched was during the recruitment process. Since this was our first year competing in the stage competition, not a lot of people knew about this incredible opportunity. And so to overcome this issue, we tried our best to spread the word through daily announcements and social media. As time went on, interest from the student population grew and other members started coming on board. Currently, we have over 40 members working in six different departments. They include management, finance, sales and marketing, production, information technology, and human resources. All of our departments work together to make Limitless Co. a booming success. Another huge problem that came up was the strict rules and regulations from the administration of our school. Due to these strict rules, we were not able to sell campaign buttons for our student council elections. With this, we would have gotten a large amount of revenue. A lot of other activities were turned down due to these strict rules. At the beginning of the year, Limitless Co. lacked an essential part of our business, company culture. Communication between individuals and amongst the different departments proved to be a challenge. But I think communication was honestly lacking. There's a lot of talk about it. Our company used an online form to communicate. However, this proved to be very difficult as the form was just a bit too complex to use. To overcome communication issues, we held social and interactive meetings to allow our members to get to know each other. And this helped a lot and brought us back together as a team. Another big problem was that our members started lacking motivation after the holidays. So by this, we gave a company speech and provided incentives such as employee of the month and give up prizes and awards. This motivated all our employees and put Limitless Co. back to how it used to be. With this, our sales started booming and Limitless Co. was actively involved once again. But despite all efforts, we still could not avoid a few members leaving the company due to their 
lack of interest. This may be seen as a damage to the company, but in fact, it was the opposite. We learned from the suggestions, and we listened to the suggestions that our former members gave us, and we improved in areas in which our company was insufficient. Littlest Co. has learned from previous mistakes, and that has led to success. Even in the future, we will continue to learn from our mistakes. The SAGE National Competition does not mark the end of Limitless Co. We have a lot planned for the future. Currently, we have an order from our principal for 280 buttons for the grade 12 graduating class. We have been also knocking on doors of many big organizations such as YMCA and Sears Canada in hopes of sales orders. We are also in contact with two MPs running for Parliament again. We hope Dan Harris and Rathika Sitsabeson will buy buttons from us for their election campaign. We plan to have regular booths open during the month of June, and we plan to go to public events throughout the summer. Now, we plan on expanding our business in the future. Uh, some of these being, uh, we plan on uh, having uh, an e-commerce on our website to allow for business transactions all around the world. With a steady stream of revenue, Limitless Co. hopes to expand into customizable keychains, t-shirts, magnets, and anything with a canvas in the near future. We hope to continue impacting our community and giving the individuals their voice. Now, we would like to ask you again, what do you see on this canvas? Let's take a look back at this here. 